There's Roxy, our solar puppy. She's guarding all of our solar arrays and helps with all the technical stuff, <laughs> if you can believe that. So we finally got this dialed in for the motor home. So if we go boondocking, we have all 12 of these panels connected in series going like this. So really easy to do. So we bought the Grape Solar 100 watt model panels and the ground mount solar array from Signature Solar. And right now in uh, January of 2024, these panels are $49.99 each while supplies last. So they're a pretty good deal. That's at least half, if not more off from what I've seen. And they actually come with a PWM charger that if you're just using one of these panels by yourself, you can connect it to a 12 volt battery and it'll actually charge that and keep it fully charged for you. And since I'm doing this, I'm connecting this to a 48 volt uh, all in one EG4 3000 watt inverter off grid. So we will uh, be using that to run our mini split and anything else. So got Roxy, our helper, coming over and helping us again. So, so all we had to do to this was we had to buy a couple of extra of these mid clamps down there. And then I had to fabricate these um, clamps up here to go into the wood. I used, um, it's like a carpet runner to put, to transition between carpet and linoleum. And uh, it's an aluminum piece that you get in there. This one was like 12 feet long. So I cut it up into one and a half inch pieces and drill the hole in it. And so I drill the hole in it um, and then cut them up. So it was easier to do it that way. And uh, God, it was only like 27 bucks to get a huge amount of these things. And I even use them over here on this wood, wood and metal array that right there uh, holds these down on this. So these aren't going anywhere. But on this, all I had to add to this was two eight foot, two, two inch by three inch uh, pieces of wood. And then I had to drill a hole through this array and I put a seven inch bolt with a washer, washer, um, lock washer and bolt. And it was like not even nine bucks for that. And these were like $2 and 50 cents a piece for the wood. And to take this, I, I would leave this whole um, leg assembly together. I can store that in my storage area in my motor home. And then all I have to do is take off this top rail and bottom rail. And if you look back here, there's, the, see the top rail that runs all the way across and a bottom rail. And there's just um, Allen head screws that hold those in. So there's only two, four, four Allen head screws that you have to loosen up for this um, to put this uh, ray together or take it apart. Same thing with that one over there. It takes like 15 minutes when all you're doing is taking a top rail and bottom rail off. And then also now all I have to do is take the um, wood two by three off um, to transport this and then put it together. So it'll take me about 15 minutes to set this up at a um, campsite. And there's a lot of camping you can go camping on on um, government land that's uh, free camping. So we can go boondocking there and take this array with us. Now these solar panels are like 15 pounds each. And I think they're like somewhere around 28 by like 32 for the dimensions on this. So at 15 pounds a piece, you got 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180 pounds. And then the solar array itself 
is probably another good 50 to 70 pounds, um, including the wood. So you're like 250 pounds. This thing is not going to move when it's even really windy. <laughs> it is really heavy. So, but individually, it's light when you take it apart. So like I said, these solar panels are only 15 pounds each. So we have this dialed in to where we have a three car garage, which is close to about five to 600 square feet. And with these connected, it's been running for the last three hours, um, keeping that garage around 74, 75 degrees. And it was 29 degrees last night outside when I got up this morning to go to Home Depot, it was 29 degrees. So it was cold and it was able to take that temperature up like 14, 15 degrees uh, within about an hour and hold it there. Now my motor home is only, the square footage that's actually gonna cool is probably about 150 square feet. So a mini split in there is gonna heat or cool very quickly with this. And uh, that's why I'm doing it. Now, the way this is set up, if I could mount this in this array, this would actually fit up on top of the roof, but I haven't seen any mounting hardware that I like yet. I would actually like to use some like aluminum mounting hardware where I could mount it at the top, but on the side, so I'm not putting holes in the roof, but actually mounting it through the side walls, um, I think I would get less problems with water leaking over time doing it that way, going in the walls than I would through the roof. If anybody has any ideas of any product out there, please shoot me a comment in the comment section, because um, I'd love to hear them so I can eventually someday mount these but right now i can take and store all of these the 12 individual solar panels and the racking in my motorhome to travel with me and then all i need i already have the wire cut and i've got actually a piece that's like 40 feet long so i've got plenty of wire um to run it away from the motorhome if i need to um and I have shorter runs that are only like 10 feet if I can have it right up by it. So I also have the wire already connected um, to go in to my batteries if I wanted to run this to my batteries. Or I have it connected to, uh, with uh, MC4 connectors so I can easily change it out and move it to a 48-volt um, inverter off-grid EG4 3000-watt inverter. So... Or I can use it on a 12-volt pure sine wave inverter um, as well if I don't want to worry about charging. So a lot of different options there. But we'll go in and uh, take a look in the garage. And right now I have uh, four different inverters and a charge controller that is mounted in the garage so i have like five different systems but i'm always running them differently like this one i'm not even running today that one i'm not running this one i'm just running that uses these batteries this is the eg4 3000 watt off-grid inverter that i would put in a motorhome and actually i'm just running it with these four agm batteries but i've got two of these batteries coming pretty soon that uh, we just ordered and uh, those will be in the motorhome so we'll have 10 kilowatts of battery bank for overnight to run whatever we need and then this one is actually running the upstairs three and a half ton air conditioner and the 12,000 BTU mini split in the living room this one is the um, in our mini split that we're running right now in the garage and you can see it's there's a three car tandem there would be one car you could park up there another car and then another one 
And these are like, I think, 10, 10 foot by 10 foot. So this is actually 20 feet by 20 feet. Then you have this area right here that is almost four feet. And then this area back here was a three car tandem. So that is keeping this garage right around 75, 76 degrees with just that mini split up there. And uh, keeping it nice and toasty in here. Right now, we are only using 15, 17 watts on it, and our battery's charged. Um, so it's got the temperature that we set it, it's already there, and it's just topping off the battery. So it's working perfectly for us. And our, we have that set at 74 degrees on the mini split, and it's actually showing right here, it's 79 degrees. So it is uh, not really running anymore. So it just keeps that battery topped off at 54 volts for those four 12 volt AGMs in series. And that's pretty much it. We uh, got it dialed in, like I said, if there's anybody that has any suggestions for mounting those solar panels on the roof of the motorhome where it's aluminum racking um, that I could mount it into the side and then go up and run the, like a car top carrier basically and then mount the panels to it. Please let me know in the description. I would appreciate that and I'll look into that. Please like, share, subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we'll see you in the next video, and we hope your 2024 is truly wonderful and extremely blessed. See you soon.